Hello beautiful people of the internet, we're back and we have a very special episode of Food Wars because today we're doing exotic food. food, food, food. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Vincent, famously known as African Amarshi. Hi, I'm Wong, uh, I'm a graphic designer, illustrator. Hi, my name is Christine, I'm a teacher and a mother to three kids. Hi, my name is Sindina Zoe. You can call me Sindina or Zoe, whichever one you're comfortable with. I'm 12 years old and I'm in 7th grade. Hi, Tushi here. Thanks for having me back again. Hi, Abdu here. Thanks for having me back again. Hi, my name is Tazi and I am 8 years old. Hi, I'm Agok and I'm the social media manager of Kaki. Hi, my name is Asale and this is my son Lucas and we're here ready for the food challenge or the food war. Alright, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. I hope you came prepared because we have a very special treat for you. Smoked pork, akoni, bamboo shoot, galo, anishi, kuchu. These are some dishes and ingredients synonymous with Naga cuisine. But Nagaland is a hotbed of different cuisine and ingredients and today we are going to introduce you to a couple dishes that most people may not be familiar with but have been part of our Naga culinary story for a long time. So I hope you came prepared. Let's eat! Number one! Two types of silkworm. Okay. Alright. These begin. I'm sure my son is not going to try anything. But no worries, no I'll, worries. I'll, I'll see if I can get him to eat. Can I try this? No. <laughs> it's very tasty. You want to eat this? And oh. try this? Oh. Not bad. I cook really well though. Like, only why don't you share yours? Alright, just a minute. The rice is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Easy, bro. So that's basically the silkworm. Right. Nagaland climatic and soil condition is suitable for commercial exploitation of four varieties of silkworm. The mulberry, the iri, the muga and the tsar. The iri, which is in front of you, is the most common fall in Nagaland. Interesting fact, litter and waste materials of the silkworm are good sources of organic manure. Right. So basically there's two preparations in front of you. One is with bamboo shoot, ginger, garlic, green chilli, salt and pork tart. Mix all together in a cup of water and cook until it's dry in a medium flame. And the other one is made with onion, tomato, king chili, salt, mustard oil, ginger, refined oil. Put all together in light flame, cool until almost dry. Then add it ginger at the end and refined oil, stir fry. Okay, I love the smell, but I've never tried this. So I think I'm gonna pass this one. Not because of anything, it doesn't gross me out. If another person eats it in front of me, it's okay, because my father-in-law loves it. But just that I've never tried, and I don't want to risk it by trying to. <laughs> Not on live camera at least. <laughs> so alright. I've had this before. This, like, I mean, the way this is prepared, this looks very different for me. <laughs> I believe this is this your first time trying this? I always avoided it. Whoa. What do we do? <laughs> My first time. <laughs> that was the first time. But how does it taste? This it tastes okay. It tastes it tastes like tastes like meat. I like food on the spider side, so I think I like this better. I mean this okay? Yeah, it's fine. So obviously this is not your first time eating silkworm, I'm guessing. No, no. Right? So how often have you tried it? Like how regular do you eat? Yeah. Once in like two months probably. Uh my mom is Angami, so I think whenever I go to Koima, I always enjoy this treat. Uh, anyways, let me show you what it looks like to life form. Holy sh nope. Nope. No. Uh, I have a very bad stomach. I'm not gonna no. I just think you're going to nope. Bingo. I see this very, very often oh, yeah. when you go to Wednesday market, when you go to the local market, it's all there. Damn. Hey, bugs. Look. Uh, this. You wanna touch it? See, 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 I can touch it. It's Don't so worry, it doesn't bite. See, it doesn't bite. Touch, touch. Like a baby sleeping. See, hey, so nice. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's already forming its webs. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Hi, can we get the next one please? Have you eaten this before? Yeah, but in Africa we are like used to the big ones. Everything's big in Africa. Yes, even the big head. Right? Alright guys, this number two, please dig in. Yes. Alright, you want to get started? Right, no? start. I'll explain as you eat. Wow. Mm. Oh, yes. So this is the snail, also known as the hammock. 
So between the months of March and May, snails are easily available in all markets in Nagaland. The hill states of the northeast are known for their terrace farming practices. In the off-season, after harvest and shortly before sowing of new crops, farmers wade through the waterlogged fields, harvesting snails. So this is basically snail with pumpkin, salt, onion, haldi, tomato, green chili, bay leaves, oil water in pot with salt. The snail is added, cooked for 15 minutes. Then the pumpkin is added for another 30 minutes. Sauteed onion, tomato, bay leaves, green chili, and haldi till golden brown. Then the fried ingredients are added for cook for another 15 minutes. How do you guys like it? Yeah, I can hamukanize it. Hamukanize it? <laughs> yes, I love it. It's good. I love it. I mean, hamuk to cannot say no la. <laughs> so I'm guessing you guys love hamuk and you guys eat it pretty often, right? Yeah. 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 I'm enjoying Bravo. the sticky rice. This is like one of our favorites. <laughs> How's it tasting, Luzi? Good. Good? Nice. Akok? It's very nice. Thank you, Robino. And Lucas, I want to show you what it looks like now, huh? Take it out. Damn, that looks ugly. <laughs> That's a snail. You can pick it up and touch it, it's okay. Don't worry, it doesn't bite. It's like a brick here. Yeah. <laughs> Very familiar. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is dish number three. Please begin. Okay. It's a frog, right? Yeah, it's a frog. It's okay. A frog. Can you give it a try? Mm, yeah, no. <laughs> I think I want to pass. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers. Chan. Okay, pass. <laughs> Alright, I'll just tell you what this is. This is yeah. a frog, I'm sure you know. Yeah, bang, yeah. also known as the bang. So the cooking procedure for frog among the Naga people vary from tribe to tribe. Most common method of consumption is boiling it with bamboo shoot, but the one in front of you is basically fried. Nice. Never seen it uh, prepared like this. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to show you what the life form looks like. Check it one. out. <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. <laughs> it's a cute dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm scared. So yeah, that's the frog. This is a quick question. How adventurous are you as, as in eating wise? Like, um, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten? Nothing, to be honest, because I think she's more um, adventurous than I am because okay. she likes a lot of seafood. Okay. She doesn't mind trying stuff, but she's I, just a little psyched about this. I I will eat everything and anything and I, if it's edible. I don't mind trying, but yeah, I don't mind trying. What are some good. things that you've eaten that's you know pretty out there? I say bad, and then a long time back is and some worms and all that. I think. The weirdest one was goat testicles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how, how did that taste? <laughs> no, no, no. It's really, it's really good. It's like uh, pork intestines, the big one. So they don't give it to you like like a whole thing, like on a platter. They cut it into pieces. You suck on it. No, no, no. You don't suck on it. I can't move. Let's move. Let's move. All right. This is number four. Oh, it's good. Gongxia. Oh, let me try that. The fresh one. Oh, wow. Good. It's good, man. Shit. Hmm? Ah, man. Let me try this. Is it, does it have bones? Like, is it risky? I think you're good. Just at the center. It's fine. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Cool. It's fresh. It's good. Cool. Mm. Okay, this is better than I expected. So, I'll just Excuse give me. you a bit of fact about the eel, also known as the Kongshai Ngao. Mm. It's very common in Nagaland. Kongshai. You can find fresh and dried eel, and the out tribe normally, like you said, cooks it with anishi. Eel chutney is also another delicious way to eat it. This is basically prepared with onion, green chili, haldi, tomato, garlic, ginger, salt, oil. Sauteed all the ingredients till it's golden brown. Then the yeah. eel is added with some water. Cook at medium flame for 30 minutes and garnish with coriander. So, how's it tasting? Good, good. 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 This is really good. Curious to know, like, what kind of uh, which tribe 
Is it like a so this is basically made by our friend Rovino. So this is her own uh, oh, style okay, of preparing okay. it. Like There's no one. such traditional style, mm -hmm. but like we said, the outright normally cooks it with anishi. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. outright. <clears throat> So let me just show you what it looks like in the market. Shit. <laughs> look, at, <coughs> look behind you. <laughs> yeah, look at. <laughs> yeah, that looks exactly like a snake. It's fish. So that's what it looks like in the market. Damn. Mm. Um. See? Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like in the live market. How does it look like? You want to touch it? Huh? Did you ever touch a snake? No. Did you ever see a snake? Yes. When? Uh, many times. Many times? Where? Uh, uh, Siddi Kema. Oh, she saw a lot of snakes in Siddi Kema. Bye, Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get the next and final one in. <laughs> Yeah. I've had this before, I don't know the name. I thought these were dragon dragon beans. Hmm. 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 It's a little salty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this sir? Cheers. I asked what is this? It's cheers. Any hey, yes. um, No. Grasshopper maybe? Very close. It's the water beetle. Oh, okay, the water beetle. Generally found in paddy fields, the insect is well known as an edible species in a number of Southeast Asian countries. Mm -hmm. So this is marinated with haldi, salt, chili powder, and then it's deep fried. So you if you want to try it, please try it. Huh? No, I don't want to try it. <laughs> it tastes like chicken, fried chicken. Try it. Oh, is it? it tastes good. It tastes like chips, no? Mm. Mm. Try this. It's very tasty. Chips. Naka chips. Is it Pringles? Yeah. Pringles. <laughs> yeah. That's his favorite. Okay, this is good. Good snack. All right, let me show you what it looks like in the market. Yeah. Mmm, this one is moving. Okay, it's alive. <laughs> Just comparing between the live and the fried. <laughs> All right. You gonna touch it? No. Can we eat this raw? I'm sure you can, but Dude, what's wrong with this one? Let's not do that. Oh, you can. Go ahead. <laughs> For the views. Can I For the views. For the views. views. Hospital is near. Try it. Mm. Nothing. Finish it, dude. No, no, we're not going. All right. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this experience. So, I thank you for coming in today. Big thank you to Rovino. She cooked all these amazing dishes today, and I hope you enjoyed today's tasting. So, before we leave, any final words? Thanks for having me back. It was, it's really fun, like always. These new concepts and everything is really nice. It's fun. So, thank you, for having me. Thank you so much, Kaki, for having me. And it was it was fun. You got to eat some things you don't get to eat on a daily basis. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. And thanks to Rovino. Thanks for inviting us. My son is a, a picky eater, so he's not going to try anything. But yeah, thanks for inviting us. Everything was good except uh, one which I passed on, and I think that was a frog. But I'm sure that was good too. Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for having us. Uh, we really enjoyed. It was a good experience for Zoe and I. Also, I have, uh, I'm a new vlogger. My YouTube channel's name is Make It or Bake It with Christine. It would be great if you can show some love and support. Yeah, uh, Mungli Santa on Instagram. Um, I think whatever you like there, just go ahead with that. Yeah. Uh, any final words? Any plugs? Well, uh, you What's guys. coming up? No, no nothing more. We're gonna shoot a music video, man. Yeah, yeah. First of all, shout out to my channel, Afghana Magshu, and also. One of my brother here, KY Entertainment, and also Jamie, he's a rapper. And uh, I'm coming up with a music very soon. Iman Garama say it's coming. Somewhere. It's gonna be a hurt. So stay tuned, stay blessed, stay safe.
Thank you for having us, Kaki, and also, if you want to say something, say thank you. Thank you for having me. Having me. I had a wonderful time. I have a wonderful time. And if you guys still haven't checked our Toyota commercial, please go and check because Lucy has been a wonderful actor in that commercial ad, so please go check it out right now. Alright, thank time. you Lucy, thank you Akok, and see you once again. Bye! Bye!